Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error on Windows 10 that says this file does not have a program associated with it. So if you run across this issue and perhaps there is an issue with the executable files on your computer and it's not just an isolated file but it seems to be a lot of different programs you're trying to run, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it and start by opening up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best man, check on back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. And now before we proceed in the registry editor, I would highly suggest that we create a back above it. So in order to create a backup, we just go up and left click on the file tab up at the top left. Left click on export. I'd suggest saving the file name as whatever date you're creating the backup. Select export range to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer or perhaps external media source and then left click on save. And then if you were to go back and restore your registry to how it was before you did anything, you just would do file import and you just would locate the file. So very straightforward. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and expand the H key classes root folder. So you want to go ahead and locate that. It should be right here. Either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. Once you've expanded H key classes root, click on one of the folders here. And then you want to type in live script. You see live script is one of the folders here. You want to go down two folders, or at least there should be two folders on your end, and it should say ink file. Just left click one time just as selected here. And now you want to direct your attention over to the right panel here. Should be something that says IS shortcut. Exactly it appears on my screen. So if you don't actually have one in here, you want to go right click in a blank area on the right side, left click on new, and then left click on string value. You want to call this string value IS shortcut. Exactly how it appears on my screen. So again, IS shortcut. This is if you do not have one already here. And you want to hit enter. You can see I already have one with that name. So if you did exactly what I said, it would appear as IS shortcut instead. So pretty straightforward on that. Restart your computer. And also you might want to run an antivirus scanner as well. There's a chance you might have had an infection on your computer that messed up with your file extension. So you might want to go ahead and try and run a utility that is built for something like that. I know AdWare Cleaner does some stuff like that and Malwareblades and whatnot. So keep that in mind. I do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.